Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, keep us flowing in the algorithm. That's how we're gonna get more subscribers and get us to that 100K. Okay, okay, okay. All right, guys. Also, guys, if you want to see exclusive content from me, you can also support me by joining my channel membership. It is $4.99 a month, and you do have to be 18 years old or older to join. Um, now, what it does also give you is that you do, once you join, um, the other members don't necessarily know that you're a member in there until you actually start commenting and uh, participating otherwise only I can see who is actually in the membership so if you want to come in there and just be a silent watcher that's fine too um, <laughs> but anyway guys um, so I did the initial uh, box uh, opening in in the paid chat uh, membership in the chatter box so, but today I wanted to talk, I brought him out here. This is Laurel. Um, I'm sorry. This is actual La Lawrence uh, by She Morocco, Morocco, something like that. Um, poured by Maria Lynn Grover. Um, one of, two of the things that I want you guys to um, think about when you're getting ready to buy a baby is what exactly are you looking for in your baby? Um, is it, are you just looking for cuteness? Are you looking for size? Are you looking for sleep, awake, girl, boy, um, open hands, closed hands, you know, um, separate toes, ball toes, you want little feet, big feet, big baby, little baby. It's like so much that you should consider before buying your baby, especially if it's your first silicone, it's kind of, Almost to the point where I can pretty much guarantee the first one is going to be a learner. You're going to get that baby and there's going to be some things that you're going to say, okay, if I get another one, I will like this, but I don't want that. Um, it, it almost always happens and that's why you see us with so many babies. Because <laughs> we always get this and then we want that and so we keep going. And to be honest, if you're looking for that baby to have 100% of everything that you want in one baby, Unless you're designing it yourself and even still, you just may not get that. But you want to know what your deal breakers are. Um, so with, with that being said, the other thing you want to know is do you like soft silicone or do you, do you prefer a more um, firmer silicone? There's a lot of myths out about silicone and how fragile it is and so on and so forth. Uh, I am the first to say that it is a different medium. It is soft, so yes, you can have imprints if you lay it on something hard or you put the scissors next to it, um, but why are you doing those things anyway with this type of art? Like, the amount of money that we spend on these dolls, like, why would you do that anyway? Um, you don't have to treat the baby like a real baby. You have to handle it like a real baby. Like I mentioned in the video, a while back there's a big difference treating a baby like a real baby is getting up every two hours handling a baby like a real baby is supporting the head not stretching the mouth wide open trying to show the tongue and the gums or um you know when you're dressing the baby handling it carefully guiding the hands through the clothes you know the arms through the clothes not snatching and pulling on the the actual sculpture um Another thing when it comes to armatures, I like soft armatures um, and I do like armatures in, our, in the arms and legs. Here's the thing, can they, can they break? Absolutely. Um, anything we have can break, okay? Um, <laughs> um, nothing is unbreakable. I mean, are there better products than others out on the market? Absolutely. Do I know which ones is which? <laughs> No, <laughs> I, I live by trial and error. Um, but what I did learn, something that I've learned recently, because two of my silicone babies, I've, I've got uh, leg armatures, and I realized that they don't really do exactly what I wanted them to do. So now I know when you get a leg armature, 
um, there's two, there's leg armatures that allow the leg to kind of straighten out a little bit. But here's the thing, when the baby is sculpted in such a bent position, you're barely going to get that much difference. Um, in my opinion, this baby doesn't need leg armatures because you really don't see the difference a whole lot. Um, because it has this back here on the back of the leg and you don't want to be pulling it out so much anyways um, because you don't want to mess around and you know tear or something like that um, the armatures in the arms great um, those are great because you can you know get the arms to stay up but you really didn't need armatures in this baby um, the way it's sculpted it will do just fine without armatures now with leg armatures the one thing that I notice is that what I want when I get leg armatures is the armatures that goes in the hip. Sorry, this one little piece of hair is just driving me sick. Okay, so what I, this baby, and by the way, this baby is super sticky because it is not um, painted. It's not, you know, so it's sticky. It's raw silicone right now, which is normal. Um, I like when the armatures go in the hip area because then I can do this. But when it doesn't, if it's just in the leg, which means it's just like in the leg area, you only can bend and straighten out. But with the hip armatures, you can close the legs, you know, and open them out, which is pretty cool. So if you're looking for certain things or you can, you know, have the legs stand up, you know, up in the air type thing. If that's what you're looking for, be specific when you ask about the leg armatures as the person that's uh, selling the kit does the armatures go in the hip um, and that way you know what you're getting before you get it and if you even want to pay the extra fee um, drinking wet so when I originally was trying this baby with drinking wet I was worried I was like oh my gosh does the drinking wet works um, I had a bottle and even though I cut the nipple open a little bit more, the water still wasn't flowing. So I figured out because I got one of the bottles that has that squish, which is really great for um, role play bottle feeding because it's squishy and you can kind of force the water down without the baby actually having that sucking um, that will pull the water out. So I realized though, when I was doing that, I was squeezing and everything and water still was not coming out this bottle and so I was like the baby is barely peeing but then I kept checking my ounces and I was like the ounces are not moving so the baby is not getting enough water so before you go calling you know this the sculptor or the poor freaking out saying oh my drinking wet don't work make sure that your baby is actually getting water um, I gave him an ounce of water earlier and he soaked up I actually just, I'll show you guys, I just removed it <laughs> and I'm letting it air dry because I'm going to reuse it for another drinking wet to show. He soaked this thing up. It went all up his back. Okay. So <laughs> he does pee well. You just got to get a bottle that actually is allowing him to get water. So there's a lot of little things that I think sometimes it's operator error. And I'll be honest, as much as I, I got the drinking wet in like two of my babies here recently. And the more I get the drinking wet, the less I like it. And I'm just being honest. I know it's a sensation for some people because you never had, if you never had it and you want to experience it at least once. And I, I don't knock it. However, for me, for one, I like to I like to, when I fake feed my babies, I like to have formula in the bottle because most babies, they tell you when they're this age not to even give them water. So it actually looks unrealistic um, to be giving them water like that. So I think, you know, for me, giving them a formula bottle, that's what really gets it for me. I think it looks more natural. I think I get the same feeling of feeding a baby that you know holding them cradled in your arms and just 
giving them a bottle. It just, to me, it just, it just looks more real. Like, this is a, you know, a bottle that I've made. And if I'm sitting here giving him this bottle, it looks so much more natural than me giving him this bottle <laughs> with water in it because most people that's been around babies and this this one actually got a hole in it so he'll probably pee but um you know what I mean it just looks more real um to give them the bottle with the uh with the milk in it so you I mean and then so and it saves you money <laughs> that's one less feature you have to pay for depending on where you're going to get drinking wet uh, extra for the drinking wet you can pay anywhere from a hundred dollars to five hundred dollars just for that added feature um, most people I will say gets it but don't even use it I'll be honest because I don't know we just don't um, I, I often forget that Vegas has it because I don't use it. I've probably used it in Vegas maybe five times and that was to show someone. Um, so yeah, it's not worth the money and I paid five, 500 extra dollars <laughs> to have it. So anyway, not putting down drinking wet. I mean, they when they work, that's great. It's wonderful, but I just, I'm just letting you know, don't feel like you're missing out on anything if you don't end up getting it or you want to save yourself some money. Um, like, just the same as armatures. Like, certain babies, I feel like if a baby is really nicely sculpted, well, and I, and I say this lightly because some babies, even if they're well sculpted, I just like to, I pose and take a lot of photographs of babies. So, I like the armatures for that. But some babies, most babies that are like, that's when I do it um, just because. Some babies, I get them because the sculpt itself needs help. So if the, sculpts, if, the, if, if the sculpt is like more like a noodly arm or the arms are just flailing out and look unrealistic out, I get an armature so I can put that baby arms in a more natural, realistic position. And I usually it's usually upwards. And then I just leave it. I don't really play with the armatures as much just want to have it to make the sculpt look better if you guys follow me so you know just different ways you can save money on your blank alone is no armatures no drinking wet and there's that um some people charge more for a super soft and you know i pay that extra for the super soft um because i really like super soft however I don't have a baby in my collection that I feel like is very firm but if I did and if it was really really pretty I will tell you it's easier to paint those though <laughs> they are easier to paint when they're more firm because you can handle the silicone on them a lot better and the silicone you know goes on you know easier I guess um, on the more firm silicone so I think I would enjoy it just you know, I would still enjoy it, but I found that the con not, you know, different to what other people say, I found that the softer silicone, I've had less likely to like tear or rip versus the firm because the firm is more rigid. And then when you try to do things with it, if you're not careful, you'll get a tear or a rip. Now, silicone doesn't just tear or rip like some people, how it sounds when we say that. A lot of times it has to have some type of already like cut in it or something and then, then it just kind of, you can go from there. Um, because, and I'm not going to do this to this doll obviously, but you could literally, I could literally pull this doll arm all the way up to where I'm standing at properly and it won't come off. Don't do that to your dolls. I've seen sculptors show that and... Um, because silicone is just very durable. Um, so a lot of times, you know, I, I just, I don't know. I just don't push the limits and I, I don't advise people to push the limits, but I also don't want people to be afraid of it. 
Um, you know, just like with Reborns. I love my Reborns, but there are so many things that could go wrong with Reborns just as well. And I'm just as careful with my Reborn babies as I am my silicone babies. I am I carefully dress them. I try not to drag clothes across their paint. I try not to put them on very fitted clothing. Um, you know, I want to make sure they're sealed properly because vinyl babies, they also lose hair. They lose paint. Um, they, they get cracks, you know, they, they get splits, you know, all types of things. The same as the silicone, except for the silicone is just a lot more expensive. So I say overall with this, with our dolls, we need to just take better care of them. And if, a, if something happened, don't beat yourself up because we're not perfect. The artist is not perfect. The sculptors are not perfect. And things are things might happen or things are going to happen if you collect a lot. So um, you just learn from it, grow from it. Just make sure you take accountability. I see a lot of finger pointing and stuff like that. And um, don't do that. Just own up to what you did and see if you can find someone to fix it. You know what I mean? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. Um, if you like these type of videos, let me know. I will continue with more of them. Um, I'm trying to give you guys the content that I think you can benefit from and also enjoy. But we're going to get on to some fun stuff soon. So, alright. So, I will be back. I will, if you guys want to see the box opening, don't forget of this kit. It is in my chatterbox. You guys can go check that out and you know see more about his details and all that great jazz um i will do a kit review next of the new baby that i have coming and i will also be doing a kit review of my other billy also will also let you guys know the gender so see you guys later in the next video thanks for watching